When using the voltage current controller module, or VCC, to demonstrate the operation of the stepper valve, one can use two different demo closed loop buttons located on the far lower right side of the VCC test app. One button is labeled Demo Closed Loop Feedback Only. For demonstration purposes, the dialing the dither pot to its minimum setting or fully counterclockwise on the stepper 12 valve will result in the best showcasing of demo closed loop mode using feedback only. When pressing the demo closed loop feedback only button, the VCC initially provides an open loop control signal to place the valve at a position equivalent to a control voltage value of 5 volt, which is approximately halfway open for the stroke position. This gives the stepper a mid-starting point when showcasing the operation of closed loop mode. The feedback voltage is set to a value of 5 volt at this time as well. After reaching the, after the stepper has reached a position equal to the open loop control voltage of 5 volt for approximately 5 seconds, the VCC will apply a high level signal to the switch input on the stepper 12, which will put the device into closed loop mode. Let's see this in operation. So initially, it's put into 5 volt. It's in open loop mode. Now we're going to see our feedback increasing here by 0.2 volts until we get to a maximum of 6 volt. We're going to hold the feedback signal there at points at 6 volt. Now it's decreasing by 0.25 volt per second until we get down to approximately 4 volt and then it's going to increase back to 5 volt to match the control signal. As the feedback voltage was increasing larger than the control input the stepper valve was beginning to close the stepper in an attempt to lower the operation of the system in use, which was having the effect of lowering the feedback signal. The feedback voltage had went to 6 volt for a couple seconds, and then it began to decrease down to a feedback voltage of 4 volt. As the feedback voltage had dropped below the control voltage value, the stepper began to open the valve, which is simulating the device attempting to increase the flow which should have had resulted in an increase, increase in the feedback signal. As we saw, the feedback signal then rose back up from a value of 4 volt to a control voltage to match the control voltage value of 5 volt, at which point the inputs were within hysteresis and the stepper valve stopped moving. The aim of this demo button is to provide the opportunity to let the VCC demonstrate how changing the feedback input and the stepper will respond to the difference in control and feedback inputs. Modifying the speed pot or the dither pot will change how quickly the stepper valve reacts to the differences between the control and the feedback inputs. A lower setting of the speed pot will mean that the stepper valve will open slower. A lower setting of the dither or hysteresis pot will make the stepper more responsive when there is a smaller difference between the control and the feedback signals. A, lower, a larger setting of the dither pot will mean that the stepper will not react unless there is a larger difference between the two inputs. The dither pot has a minimum setting of approximately 0.1 volt and a maximum of 1.0 volt. When the dither is set to its minimum value, this means if the control and feedback are more than 0.1 volt in difference from one another, the valve will begin to react. If the dither pot is at the maximum setting of approximately 1.0 volt, the stepper will not begin to respond until the control and feedback signals are more than 1.0 volt apart.